Nowadays, how does a normal day start? Usually, our cell phone alarm goes off and it wakes us up. We either go to school or we go to work. Or we have to do some other stuff. After that, you turn off the alarm and you pull out your phone and start checking the notifications like your email, messages, look at some news, and most importantly, you check the social media. Most of the time, you wake up, eat something and drink some coffee, and then go to work. Even if you went to work, class, or any other place, you kind of have a connection with everywhere with your cell phone. And while you're doing other stuff, it kind of distracts you. When we get back from school or work, we go right back to the computer or our cell phone to look at YouTube and other stuff. We look at social media, look at some news, and sometimes we watch some sports. And sometimes you might play some video games with your buddies. We said all this for what? Since the second the alarm went off and you woke up, and at night you're looking at your cell phone. What consistency are you seeing? At least one thing is consistent here, and that's us using the internet non-stop throughout the day. Nowadays, everything is based on the internet. Even the electricity we use every day is controlled by internet. And there's pretty much nothing we could say that it doesn't use internet to work. We're so attached to the internet that we can't even imagine our lives without it. If we don't like it or like it, the whole world is attached to the internet and we are extremely dependent on it to live our lives. Imagining it could be hard, but what would happen if the entire internet goes out? Before we take a look at what would happen if the internet shuts off, we first have to say that internet is not a very simple thing and you can't just shut it off with one switch. That's only if it was planned before. Like China has a plan for this and since they have their own servers, they could very easily shut the internet off for the entire country. They say countries like Turkey, Egypt and Iran could shut off the internet with one switch, but they don't have their own server and internet could enter the country from elsewhere. So we come to a conclusion that shutting off an internet for the entire country is not an easy job. Forget about shutting down the entire world. Shutting off the internet can only happen in one way. Solar storm. We've made some videos about solar flares and storms. It's a video about how dangerous would solar flares and a solar storm be. The chances of a solar storm to do this to our equipment is extremely rare, but it's possible. But let's imagine a solar storm has happened and the entire internet is shut off. Electricity is there, but internet is not. Our phone's alarm goes off like regular. We grab it and turn it off. And like the usual, we start checking our phone. But we realize our internet is shut off and our phone is kind of useless. At first, we don't get angry and we just say, oh, probably in 10 minutes it's gonna be back. The people that are addicted to the internet will get angry, but they have to handle it. They eat their breakfast and drive to work. For your work, you have to go to an address that you've never been. You want to enter it in your GPS, then you realize you still have no internet. You really don't know where to go and can't find the address without the GPS. You don't know what to do and you try to call your work and see what to do. Then you realize you can't even call anybody. 
you realize you can't do anything and you return to home. At home, it gets worse because your computer has no internet and it's useless. You try to turn on the TV to watch something, then you realize that's not working either. Even the satellite channels are not working. The thing that's going on is not unique to your street, your neighborhood, your city, or your country. It's happening all around the world. But huge cities have a bigger problem. The traffic lights in a city like New York work off the internet. These traffic lights are programmed in a way that if electricity or the internet goes out, they run off generators and they flash a red light and all the four ways of this giant city starts flashing red lights. And as you guys know, you have to treat a red flashing light like a stop sign. This is not a huge problem, but since every intersection is happening, it's creating a cluster. If you really wanna talk about it, New York drivers are the angriest people in America. This city is gonna go from quote unquote peaceful to a fighting arena. But these problems in New York compared to real world problems are nothing. One of the biggest problems is the wastewater plant. And since most of them are controlled by the internet, they start to shut off and not work properly. The older water plants could turn on the systems manually, so the plant goes on manual mode. But this is only a select few. And in this situation, all the sludge and sewer gets into the city. We could still handle the sewage, but the thing that people can't handle is the money problem. Since yesterday, you had money in the bank, you had stock, you had crypto, all of these are useless because there's no internet that you can have access to it. In this case, you can only buy stuff if you have cash on you and all of your debit cards and credit cards are not gonna work anymore. I won't hurt your head, but online companies like Google, Amazon, and other huge companies are going to be useless. The metro system will shut down. The airplanes don't know when to land or lift off because the radar system is not working because it can't connect to the GPS. Around these times, everybody's looking at the news. They want to see what is going on. But there is no news. Since there is no internet, you have no access to any news. All the channels have stopped working. Radios have been shut down. If you're gonna get any news in this situation, it's gonna be from the people around you and ask people what the heck is going on. And most likely, they're gonna say, I don't know, I was gonna ask you that. Some people will start creating rumors. Like we're being invaded by aliens and they're the ones that shut off everything. I should just say that in this day and age, if there's no internet, that means there's nothing. And before I forget, I should say that around this time, store shelves are gonna be empty because they have no internet to order new stuff. Some people might say, I like it this way. Instead of being on the internet all day long, let's go read a book, start working out, or play some sports. We can do this if we don't starve. Because without the internet, the world is gonna be paralyzed and people will have so many problems that they don't have time to play games or read books. Also, safety has gone down the sink because you don't know what will happen if you step foot outside. There's no internet, the police are not gonna answer your call and politicians and leaders don't know what the heck is going on either. Some people might say, in our rural area, we have a house with no electricity and internet and we have no issues there let's ask them to give the address so we can join them